Pluto, a small celestial body far from the Sun, was once considered the ninth planet in our solar system. Its story began with Percival Lowell, an American astronomer who founded the Lowell Observatory in Arizona. He noticed that the paths of Uranus and Neptune didn't match predictions, leading him to believe another planet was causing the discrepancies. Lowell searched for this mysterious ninth planet, but passed away in 1916 without finding it. In 1929, Vesto Slipher, the director of the Lowell Observatory, encouraged Clyde Tombaugh to continue the hunt. Tombaugh used a device called the Blink Comparator to compare images of the sky taken at different times. After months of searching, he found a possible ninth planet, which was named Pluto in 1930. This discovery generated great excitement. But what does this distant world teach us, and why is it significant? We'll delve into these questions, but before we start, remember to subscribe, like the video, and leave comments. Pluto's journey from being the ninth planet to being classified as a dwarf planet is a captivating chapter in scientific history. However, it continues to captivate astronomers and the public alike due to its intriguing features. Despite its small size, Pluto has a peculiar orbit, taking it both closer and farther from the Sun than Neptune. Its complex atmosphere contains nitrogen, methane, and carbon monoxide, creating unique weather patterns. The surface displays mountains, valleys, and evidence of past geological activity. Pluto remains an enigmatic celestial body that constantly reveals new insights about our solar system. In 2006, NASA launched the New Horizons mission to explore Pluto and its moons. After a nine-year journey, the spacecraft reached Pluto in July 2015, capturing detailed images of its surface, atmosphere, and moons. This mission unveiled Pluto's dynamic nature, with features like frozen plains, mountains, and glaciers. It also discovered new moons, enriching our knowledge of the Pluto system and its history. New Horizons didn't stop at Pluto. It continued exploring the Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune's orbit. This mission provided valuable data about the early solar system and planetary formation. Overall, New Horizons significantly expanded our understanding of Pluto and the outer solar system, opening new avenues for research and exploration. Scientists are now using telescopes in the US and Mexico to study Pluto's thin atmosphere and better comprehend its conditions. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has also contributed by observing changes in Pluto's surface temperature. As a result of this process called thermal inertia, Pluto's surface has warmed due to its earlier, closer orbit to the Sun. Although its atmosphere hasn't entirely disappeared, it's gradually freezing back onto the surface as it cools down. But how do scientists arrive at these conclusions? They employ a technique called occultation. This method involves observing what happens when one cosmic object passes in front of another. Astronomers have used this method to study Pluto since the late 1980s, determining its atmospheric density and the warmth of its nitrogen ice reservoirs stored beneath the surface by observing Pluto as it passes in front of stars. One intriguing aspect of Pluto that has garnered limited study is the Tombaugh Regio, a heart-shaped region on its surface. This well-known feature resembles a giant ice cream scoop due to its cone-shaped structure and carbon monoxide ice cover. The New Horizons probe discovered this heart-shaped region during its flyby, covering an area of one million square kilometers and featuring nitrogen glaciers. Pluto's heart, particularly the left ventricle or Sputnik planitia, plays a role in its rotational behavior. This shift, called true polar wander, occurred as a result of significant geological events on the planet's surface. Pluto has another remarkable feature, dunes on its surface. These dunes are composed of frozen methane ice grains sculpted by winds. Surprisingly, 
Pluto's dunes are more widespread than expected and have been found on Earth, Mars, Venus, Titan, the Moon, Saturn, and even Comet 67P. These dunes likely formed relatively recently, possibly within the last 500,000 years, given their pristine appearance. Pluto presents an intriguing paradox. Despite its age of billions of years, its surface features, such as polygonal forms and mountain ranges, suggest recent geological activity. Thermal convection, causing the overturning of ice, is the most likely explanation for this phenomenon. Scientists have made another astonishing discovery on Pluto, a vast liquid ocean beneath its surface. This ocean likely remains today, concealed by a thick layer of ice. The presence of active volcanoes on Pluto is also under consideration. These icy volcanoes may result from the expansion and contraction of Pluto's frozen ocean. The existence of massive faults cutting through Pluto's icy surface supports this hypothesis. If the ocean freezes over, new faults may be forming, offering exciting possibilities for further exploration. The study of Pluto's photos from the New Horizons satellite led scientists to investigate the planet's formation. They analyzed surface features like mountain ranges and valleys using computer models. The results suggested that Pluto initially experienced rapid formation leading to an early ocean. To generate the heat necessary for this process, two scenarios were evaluated. Nuclear fusion within Pluto, or an impact by debris. The latter scenario appeared more likely, and this rapid formation, although taking up to 30,000 years on a cosmic timescale, contributed to Pluto's unique history. Recent discoveries have reignited scientists' interest in Pluto. Among these findings is the presence of flowing glaciers, resembling those on Earth and Mars. Nitrogen ice glaciers flow into a basin called Sputnik Planitia, creating pits and valleys during seasonal and mega-seasonal cycles. Unlike Earth's glaciers, these flow upward since liquid nitrogen is less dense than solid nitrogen. Geysers or water jets may erupt as the liquid nitrogen reaches the surface. Water ice, with lower density than nitrogen ice, is also part of Pluto's surface, allowing some rocks to float within the glaciers. Sputnik Planitia, Pluto's largest glacier, spans over 620 miles, 1 million kilometers. However, it's essential to clarify that Pluto's harsh surface conditions make it inhospitable for any form of life. The extreme cold freezes not only water, but also gases like methane, nitrogen, and carbon monoxide. Pluto's low atmospheric pressure further reduces the chances of life. Nevertheless, there is speculation about the possibility of life within Pluto's interior. Pluto's internal structure comprises an icy mantle surrounding a rocky core. The mantle, roughly 100 to 180 kilometers thick at the core mantle boundary, envelops a core approximately 1,700 kilometers in diameter. Radioactive decay could eventually melt the ice and crumble the rock, potentially creating a subterranean ocean. This could alter Pluto's environment in ways conducive to life, but any such transformation is likely far in the future. Pluto, currently beyond the Sun's habitable zone, will eventually enter it as the Sun expands and emits more energy over millions of years. During this process, Pluto and other Kuiper Belt objects will experience significant warming. However, the formation of life on Pluto, given its current conditions, is highly unlikely. It may require humans to introduce life from Earth to Pluto or other surviving bodies. These cosmic events are billions of years away, so there's no need to worry for now. Pluto stands out as a celestial body, with almost no tiny craters on its surface, a trait shared by its moon Charon. This scarcity of small craters raises questions about the Kuiper Belt's composition and the solar system's origins. It simplifies the identification of small objects that contribute to the formation of larger ones, such as Earth.
Pluto was once thought to lack the internal energy needed for volcanoes, but recent findings suggest otherwise. Evidence of ice volcanoes and nearby impact craters across Pluto's surface indicates more interior heat than previously believed. This challenges our understanding of planetary systems on geological timescales. The New Horizons mission, currently in an extended phase, continues to explore the Kuiper Belt and the outer solar system, while the spacecraft's radioisotope thermoelectric generator will eventually deplete its fuel, the mission is planned to last at least until the mid-2030s, offering further opportunities for exploration. The James Webb Space Telescope JWST, is set to provide more insights into Pluto's mysteries. The absence of tiny craters on Pluto and Charon, as revealed by the New Horizons mission, is an intriguing topic that the JWST is expected to shed light on, it will also contribute to our understanding of Pluto's geological history, potentially confirming the existence of ice volcanoes and a subterranean ocean. The knowledge gained from these studies will enhance our comprehension of the universe and planetary systems beyond our own. What new discoveries do you think the JWST will make about Pluto? Engage with us by leaving a comment, subscribing to our channel, and clicking the notification bell for regular updates. Keep watching, stay inspired, and get ready for more exciting discoveries. See you in our next episode.